Hey everyone, how's it going? Thursday, Thursday MLB. It's time for the picks versus the professor, the algorithm versus the professor. Uh, let's let's run this every day. I really love what uh, what Professor Sides is doing here with his statistical model. Um, he's also taking into account odds a whole lot more than the algorithm is, and I think that that's what I think we're going to learn from this experiment here is that the line is so important when determining which winner you're going to take that. Uh, it, we're, we're actually going to be kind of browsing, I think, the results tab in the algorithm here. And when we're seeing games that have poor lines toward the bottom end of here, like the White Sox have a poor line against Detroit today. The Mets have not a great line against somebody. Um, Philly's line is not great against Washington. These are lower end games with bad lines. That when we see things like this, I think we're going to find out that it might be a good idea to take the other team when it comes to straight bets. So um, anyway, let's talk about today real quick because um, I have made updates. There are some, some lineups that are already in here. So he has, Professor Sides has two picks, uh, two grade A picks. They are Arizona and Baltimore. So let's see what the algorithm says about those games. It does have Baltimore as the 11th pick of the day with a very low MXP factor. So the algorithm thinks that this is more of a pick em game and it's not a necessarily a very strong pick for Baltimore, but it does think Baltimore wins. So that is a confirmation on what the professor thinks and what the algorithm thinks. Arizona, I believe, is an underdog and, and we have that down here at a negative 19% margin. So that means it's not favoring Arizona in here with lineups not confirmed yet. So that's saying that this game right here, as a matter of fact, it heavily, heavily favor, favors Colorado. Look, it thinks that Colorado is going to put up eight runs by projected I score, it's just eight runs in general because it's in a dome. It doesn't like Dallas Keuchel's pitching, and it sees this ridiculous ERA here. Is, are the years right? I think the years are right. So it just thinks that Dallas Keuchel gets hit, so that's why it likes Colorado so much. So that is a disagreement with uh, the professor. As a matter of fact, it's, it's a very strong disagreement because Colorado – is uh, according to our Excel file here, right here, is the three pick of the day by margin. And when you look at it by um, MXP factor in the pivot in the Google sheet, Colorado is the sixth pick and a very good line. So this is a really good test game. I think that um, I haven't looked at the other picks that he has for the day in depth yet. Um, as I reviewed the algorithm, but haven't totally reviewed all the, the picks here. I know it kind of agrees with the Mets, doesn't agree with the Cardinals, kind of agrees with the Phillies, like a C, B or C pick, D agrees with the Pirates, uh, does not agree with the Cubs. But this is one of those games where I like looking at what he's doing. So Cubs are plus 234. 234. 234 is, uh, is ridiculous. Do they win this game one out of every three times? You make money if you make a straight bet and they win one out of every three times. Not if they win one out of every four times, but if they win one out of every three times, you make money. So to see this or Detroit's plus 209 or even the Red Sox plus 149 against the Yankees with a good pitcher at home, all of those things I actually thought were more fun than betting the favorites in these games. And uh, I understand mathematically why this is a good idea for straight bets, and he that's kind of what he does here. So I'm certainly open to understanding and, and going over the differences between seeing the Cubs at plus th 234 right here and comparing that to what the algorithm says for that game, which is that the Dodgers crush it 8-0 at minus 275. So it's kind of like I think you have two different ways to play this game. You say, is it going to be one of, one of those three or four nights when the Cubs actually beat the Dodgers? Or is it going to be a night where the Dodgers light up Mark Leiter and score a bunch of runs? And I think that you can say, well, the algorithm says take the Dodgers because it thinks they're going to cover by seven runs. So take the minus two and a half or three and a half to get an excellent line. If they win the game, they win it like that and you win. If they only win a one nothing game, you lose. Um, or do you do what he's doing, which is take Chicago because they're going to win this game one out of three times and you'll make money in, in a three game trial on average is, is I think what you're saying there. So it's a tough call. Um, it, it, it makes for a different type of pick when you're picking a game that has a terrible line. So it makes me want to browse through this list more saying, 
oh, let's talk about the Colorado game. Let's talk about the San Diego game. Every time I wear this hat and bet on San Diego, they lose, by the way. I did not bet on them today. I actually pulled them off because their line dropped to 145 and I was wearing the hat. I'm like, ah. <laughs> and so I didn't take them. So if you want to take San Diego, that's good news for San Diego that I didn't bet on them. Um, but uh, the point is, is that here's reasonable lines. And so it makes the betting decision different. It's more like, do I care about who I think is going to win the game more because I can get a reasonable line on that team? It really does matter. It matters what the line is, because if somebody says, hey, you know, Ken, I'll, I'll give you, uh, you know, um, or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to charge you minus 5,000 if Houston doesn't score a run or something today. I'll be like, if Houston scores one run, I'll give you, you know, negative 5,000 on your money. You could bet $5,000. I only have to give you a dollar when you won that bet, if it's negative 5,000, right, or, or, or something like that. Point is, is the line really, really matters. And I think we need to talk about it more, um, even though I like to talk about who's going to win, because that's what the algorithm is supposed to be doing here. So um, that's kind of the update for the day. Um, I made a, I made some picks because I'm going to work um, the rest of the day. I mean, like, it's 1.30 between, you know, normal uh, normal duties running around, shuffling around, regular duties. I, I, I'm going to be, like, crazy busy. Um, I've been... I've been, I've been working. <laughs> so I, I don't know how much I'm going to be in here. I'm sure um, there's a few hours stint there where I, cause I could bring my computer with me, but I mean, come on, like, this is pretty good. If you want to update things, I've already updated weather here in the algorithm for the day. Uh, it's, it's pretty reasonable. So I'll, I'll work on getting confirmed lineups up here. Um, eventually the games are at four, seven, it's one thirty right now. I will, um, yeah, no, there's, a, there's just a period of the day where I'm driving, picking up kids from hockey and doing stuff. Like, I just can't do it right around this time. I guess I can bring my, and I don't want to. Um, if a bunch of people send me money and buy this, I'll find a way to bring my computer with me. But if they don't, I'm just going to come back after 7 o'clock. I'm sorry, I can't get back before 7 o'clock. So these later lineups are probably not going to be confirmed before the games. But sometime after 7 Actually, the NHL draft is tonight. Never mind. I'll take my computer with me and, and get this done um, because there's other reasons why I need my computer today other than this draft. So we'll get that done, um, actually, and get confirmed lineups up sometime before the games. All right. All right. Good luck, everybody. Good luck to the professor. Good luck to the algorithm. Um, the, big, the big rubber match game is the Diamondbacks in Colorado, where I did bet Colorado team runs over four and a half, and I bet Colorado to win at minus 115. It's the third pick of the day. It's the rubber match against the professor, um, as we both kind of agree on Baltimore. But actually, the algorithm says it's more of a toss-up game. So the algorithm kind of says San Diego instead of Baltimore, but the line's not as good. It would say Pittsburgh in game one over Baltimore, but the line is very, very close. Um, so a lot to talk about. All right, good luck. Mallory picks be winning.